Hello and welcome to today's daily prelims practice session. In today's session, we will be taking up certain important MCQs based on the previous year trend analysis from today's The Hindu Delhi edition as well as Indian Express newspaper. The important topics which are to be discussed have been displayed on the screen and the timestamping of the same has been provided in the description box below. So now, let us begin our today's session. So now let us begin with our first question. This first question has been framed out of the context of the recent severe earthquake which has hit the land of Turkey. Around 6,000 to around 8,000 deaths have been reported so far and the counting is still in progression. As you people have already discussed in the last DNS also, there are certain minor plates which are interacting within themselves and a huge fault boundary is created at the northernmost part of the Anatolian plate. And this in turn further has increased the vulnerability of this particular region. So now coming to the UPSC previous year questions. If you see in 2018 UPSC asked a question from the geography section particularly from the geomorphology subsection. If you closely analyze this particular question there are three statements given. The first statement talks about the endogenetic factors in relation to the earth and the other factors are related to the exogenic that is the formation of atmosphere which gives us a clear signal that whenever we are reading we should be aware about endo as well as exogenetic factors in relation to the earth. So in this very line the question taking the context of the current affairs is in front of you. The question says consider the following statements regarding the Anatolian tectonic plate. There are three statements given. Statement 1 says that the plate shares a boundary with the Eurasian plate, African plate, Arabian plate and the Asian sea plate. Now some of these plates are minor plate and some of the plates are major plates. So first you obviously need to know that where does this particular plate lies. This statement is a factual statement and is a correct statement. Statement 2 says that North Anatolian fault produces the persistent earthquake activities. Now when we were discussing the context of this very news article also, I told you that there is a fault line because of which the vulnerability has increased multifold. So again this statement is also correct. Now come to the statement 3. It says that it is one of the major tectonic plates. It that means Anatolian tectonic plate. Now this is not a major plate because there are just 7 major plates which you people also know just reading by the basic MCRT. So hence statement 3 is incorrect and that is why if you eliminate statement 3 just the option A1 and 2 only is the correct answer. Coming to the answer of the previous year question here option C that is 1 and 3 only are the correct answer and statement 2 is incorrect. Now we'll move towards the DPP question number 2. This question is in relation to a recent spy balloon which has created a controversy between China and US. There were certain balloons also reported at the airspace over the Andamans. So that is why this question has been framed. Again, if you go by the previous year questions in 2016, UPSC has asked the question in relation to the project Loon. Certain projects which are there in news and deal specifically with science and technology becomes important when it comes to the prelims examination. So try to attempt this particular question also at your end. Let us see today's question. Consider the following statements regarding the spy balloon. There are two statements given and you have to find the correct statement out of the given two statements. Statement 1 says that these are high altitude surveillance tools that usually operate at 80,000 to 120,000 feet. Again, a factual statement, this is also a correct statement. Statement 2 says that these are directly steered to scan an area from close quarters and capture clearer, high resolution images of the target. Now this statement is incorrect, the reason being they are not directly steered. Okay, these balloons are lift in the atmosphere and then they can be maneuvered only with the help of the wind currents. So they are placed in such a manner that they reach to the desired height and follow a desired direction. But this is done with the help of the wind currents moving at various levels of the atmosphere. 
but the point important is that they are not directly steered that it cannot happen that i am sitting at this particular place and i am steering this particular balloon to maneuver all across the world so it does not happen and therefore statement 2 is incorrect option a one only is the correct answer as far as the answer to the previous year question is concerned this project loon was in relation to the wireless communication technology now come to question number 3 this question is in relation to a recent technology which is there in almost all the newspapers and news channels which is in the relation of artificial intelligence and that technology is known as the chat gpt an open ai platform however there is one more important name in this context the google's bard platform now both these platforms are from the artificial intelligence dimension but you need to be aware about the basic difference between the bard and the chat gpt yes i do agree with the fact that both these technologies are still in the initial phase and hence we do not have much information that how these are going to work what will be the future of these technologies but still on the basis of certain information which we already have we will look at this particular question but before that if again we go by the previous year question paper analysis in 2020 the question was asked in relation to the artificial intelligence and the question was in a way which asked you to analyze upon the utility of the artificial intelligence but with a restriction and what was that restriction the restriction was the present state of development so read this question carefully and try to attempt this particular question coming to today's question there are two statements given statement 1 says google's bard draws on information from the internet while chat gpt has access to data until 2022 statement 2 says bard is based on lambda that is language model for dialogue applications whereas chat gpt is based on generative pre trained transformers so you have to find the correct statement here statement 1 is incorrect because the data which chat gpt can have access to is till 2021 not 2022 statement 2 is factually correct and therefore option b2 only is the correct answer so now coming to the answer of this particular question many of you might have guessed it let us see that whether your guess is correct or not so upsc in its official answer key has given option b 1 3 and 4 as the correct answer and not 2 and not 5th so moving towards the question number 4 for today's dpp in relation to the millets as we all know that this year is very important as far as the millets are concerned because we are celebrating the international year of millets 2 years ago united nation general assembly adopted india's resolution to declare 2023 as the international year of millets moreover when it comes to india's agriculture millets have their own significance if you go by the previous year question paper analysis the questions have been asked related to various crops for example in 2020 the question was asked in relation to the sugar cane so there are four statements given try to attempt this question this is a lengthy question so read it patiently and try to attempt it we'll discuss question number 4 for today's dpp which of the given statements is correct with reference to the millets statement 1 says india is the largest producer of the millets in the world this statement is factually correct keep this thing in your mind india is the largest producer of the millets as well as second largest exporter of the millets in the world statement 2 they can grow in poor soils and hilly areas again this is also correct and this is the very logic or reason behind the fact that why india is promoting the millets they are also resistant to various climatic disasters for example droughts floods etc so this is the very potential of the millets further statement 3 says that they are rich in micronutrients such as iron and zinc this statement is also correct and that is why millets also have their health benefits statement 4 says they are high in fiber content and are known to improve the gut microbiota again all these statements are correct and all these statements reflect the high potential of the millets 
which can be a game changer in India's agriculture. That is why India is promoting millets not only at the national but also at the international levels. As far as the answer to the previous year question is concerned, option C, 1 and 4 only is the correct answer. Moving towards question number 5, again from the science and tech section. And this time it is biotechnology. So at the text and the context page in the Hindu newspaper, an article has appeared in the relation to the CAR T cell therapy. Now what do you mean by CAR T cell therapy? So CAR, C -A -R stands for Chimeric Antigen Receptor Technology. Now the basic difference between this technology in dealing with the cancer is that presently we all know that in chemotherapies, the technologies which are there at the present levels, chemotherapy requires a huge number of external medications to treat the patient. But this particular technology is based on the patient's own cell. So CR technology will use the patient's own cell. They are basically the modified cells but they are then infused back into the patient's bloodstream after conditioning them to multiply more effectively. That is why they are also known as living drugs. So anyhow, coming back to today's question. In 2018, the question was asked in relation to certain technologies which were there in news. For example, CRISPR-Cas9 technology, blockchain technology and Bell 2 experiment. So try to attempt this particular question on your own. Today's question has three statements. Statement 1 says, unlike chemotherapy, it uses the patient's own cells for treatment, correct? Their efficacy is more than 90% against all types of cancer known. Now this statement is incorrect because the CAR T cell therapy has been approved for leukemia and lymphomas because their efficacy as high as 90% is seen only in leukemia and lymphomas cancers. So that is why statement 2 is incorrect. Statement 3 says they are becoming popular due to their minimal side effects. Again, this is also incorrect because they have high range of side effects as of now and therefore option C, one only is the correct answer. As far as the answer to this particular question is concerned, option B, two only is the correct answer. Now we shall discuss the last question for today's session that is question number 6 for DPP and this is in relation to the political turmoil or the political conundrum which regularly appears in newspapers between the chief minister of the Delhi that is the state authority as well as the lieutenant governor which is the central representative or the central authority. So such questions are very common when it comes to the prelim examination. Every year the questions have been asked from the parliamentary or the legislative assemblies, their rules, their structural, their mandate, etc. For example, in 2015, the question was asked in relation to the powers of the governor within the legislative assemblies of the states. So try to attempt this basic question. There are two statements given and just the basic knowledge of polity will be used to solve this particular question. Coming to today's question. Question says, according to the article 239 AA, the Delhi Assembly cannot make laws on which of the following subjects? 1. Public order. 2. Police. 3. Land. And 4th Education. So yes, we all know about public order, police and land. Delhi government cannot make laws on these three subjects because these three subjects have been given to the center. Now the question is about the education. However, with this information also this question is easily solvable because there is just one option which has 1, 2 and 3 as its component and hence it is the answer. But understanding this particular aspect is also very important and interesting because this is the latest reason behind the conundrum in the Delhi. Now there are two things. One is education. Second is services. So as far as the education is concerned, Delhi government can make law related to it. As far as the services are concerned, Delhi government cannot make law related to this. But now there is third thing that is education services. For example, 
appointment of the principal to the schools we cannot call it as education we cannot call it as purely as services also so this is the basic reason that because the delhi government is saying that it also comes in the education and hence delhi must have power and the opposite argument has been given by the left wing governor so this is the basic issue this issue is to be resolved later on but yes this topic becomes again very important when it comes to the upsc examination so that was all for today all the very best and study hard